So what's going on guys? This is DIY Dan again and this is another episode of Backroads Arizona. So in this video I'm actually adding some cargo bags to my front doors and between the back seats of my 2020 Turbo S. So let's get to it. I went ahead and left the knee pad in the front bag because I did have a problem with my knee hitting against the door and uh, we did go to the cinders in Flagstaff and the knee pad was amazing uh, especially for my wife she's got a little taller legs than I do and her knee was hitting perfectly here uh, as opposed to banging against the side of the door so it worked really well for that so there's where my knee hits and that's with my foot on that little step there which is usually where I place it same thing on the driver's side when I'm driving and my knee was banging against the door pretty regularly and uh, this helps with that quite a bit and I'm pretty short so my wife's got a little bit longer legs and she's hitting right about here with her legs as opposed to me I'm on the bottom side here one other good thing about these door bags that I didn't even think we would use but we ended up using almost immediately is the uh, cup holder here it is a little awkward because it's at the back however if any of you guys have stored your drinks in the center console between two seats the radiator hoses run right underneath here and your drinks get very hot very quickly. They do have quite a bit of storage. What I ended up doing with mine because I had extra boxes and containers that I had bungee corded up here. And was up at the dunes by Glamis. And I actually lost one of my toolboxes out of the back of here. I was lucky enough to go back and find it. However, I wanted to try and eliminate some of the stuff that I had in the back of the razor because I could not see it. And I lost that toolbox and had no idea that I had, I had done that. So that being said, uh, I actually have my some of my safety equipment, uh, flares and uh, flashlights and stuff like that in this one. And in my driver's door, I keep all of my first aid stuff. So that's what I ended up doing with them. So the other bag I ended up getting, because it was only 20 bucks on Amazon, is the center bag between the two rear seats. This took me about five minutes to install, and it's kind of awkward to get to, so I put my tools and stuff that I'm not gonna use every day, but I wanna have in the razor. Just in case something goes wrong, I've got the ability to take care of it. Cause I tend to do dumb when I'm out riding. So now we're gonna go over the install of both of these. So there's three bolts that attach my lower door inserts to the factory player's door. I took two of those bolts out so I could see behind them and mark out where I need to drill and cut the door insert so I can anchor the bottom three bolts of the bag to the factory Polaris door. I've heard of people just using the top three bolts to hold these door bags, but I wanna store quite a bit of stuff in them and I want them to be really secure. So after marking those, I went ahead and took the last bolt holding the door insert in place, then proceeded to drill out where I had marked the panel and went ahead and moved the drill around just to waller out the hole a little bit and take any burrs off of the hole. I held the door insert back up into place and saw that I was barely off on this one hole, so I have to drill it out a little bit more. So I drilled another hole, now I'm just gonna take my little die grinder here and smooth it out. Then checked it one more time and it seems like we should be good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and pull these screws out now, which wonderful plastic's coming out with them, which is amazing. That one too, wonderful. After removing the screws for the bag, I went ahead and installed my door insert again and put those three bolts back in. Using the pattern of the bolts that were holding it, I put it back exactly where it was to make sure I would not have to readjust my door from closing correctly. Then I tightened those three bolts down. Since I have the door inserts, I decided to use longer screws. And I think with the distance of the bag plus that, and I might put a washer on here, I think we're gonna be okay. So I put the screw through the bag and then held it against the door to make sure the screw was not too long. Then I went ahead and started all three of the bottom screws, but I did not tighten them down fully until all three of them were started. Once I got them all started, I used my drill to tighten them down and adjusted my torque settings so I would not strip out the screws when I was tightening them down fully. 
Then I went ahead and took the top two screws out of the door and put the bag up into place and put those same screws back into place. If you did not have the lower door inserts, installation would take you less than five minutes per side. Now we'll go over the rear bag install. You got these two clips right here and it's gonna lock in under this panel. I pulled the one seat out just to make it easier. So it's gonna lock in under there. Then these two straps are gonna wrap around your roll bar and then go back down and latch onto here as well and then just tighten them up. I did end up pulling both seats out to make this install go a little easier when it was all said and done. So I had already hooked the bottom clips in. Now I'm wrapping the, the two straps around the roll cage and clipping those in as well. And then all you have to do is pull on the strap to tighten it up. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got a wide variety of videos involving all kinds of DIY projects, trail riding, mountain biking, etc. So hopefully this review and install gave you guys some good information and hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Later.